Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I am so, I'm so excited. Listen, when I get a fragrance that just leaves me completely speechless, I get so excited and I have to run and tell you guys about this one. Like, I kid you not, I sprayed this and I did not know what to say. So if you wanna find out what fragrance I'm talking about, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Leave a comment down below. We're almost at 100K, yada, yada, yada. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let's get into it. So today's video is all about this beautiful fragrance from Creed. This is their new creation. It's called Queen of Silk. The name I love so much. Now I did get an email from Creed, I wanna say maybe four weeks ago, um, saying that they're gonna launch a new fragrance, but they didn't give me any information. It was literally hush hush and I didn't find any information online. And when this showed up at my door, I was floored. I sprayed this and I was left speechless by how incredibly gorgeous this fragrance is. So in the PR package, we did get a really nice card here with all the information for this fragrance. So this is classified as a floral amber fruity scent. Head notes are osmanthus, magnolia, and saffron. Heart notes is tuberose, passion fruit, agarwood, and patchouli, some sort of patchouli. And then in the base, we have vanilla from Madagascar, incense, myrrh, ambroxa, Chinese cedarwood and musk. This fragrance is a Neiman Marcus exclusive fragrance. You can only get it from that boutique from now and it is available this month. I don't know the specific date. If it's available right now, I will link it down below for you guys to check out. And if there's any way that I can find a sample for you guys, I will also link it down below. Now let's talk about this beauty over here, the bottle. I am obsessed with this bottle, like the color. This is beautiful. This stunning purple tone with the gold accent from the lid is to die for. I love the bottle. I've always loved the way that Creed bottles are presented. They're just very beautiful and elegant and they give off this very much elite kind of classy edge to them. And this color is stunning. I'm actually loving that Creed is really, I feel like they're stepping outside of the box when it comes to the, the colors and the fragrances that they are presenting. Last year was Carmina, which has a cherry note in here. And then this one, and both of those bottles are absolutely beautiful side by side. So I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. Now I'm going to spray this and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I think. The atomizer is really nice. You do get a big burst of that scent. It's not a continuous mist, but you do get a large burst. Oh my God. So sexy to me. It smells very feminine, very sensual, and it has this like edgy mysteriousness to it also. I get so much of that tube rose right off the bat when I spray that, I get a lot of it, but it's like a very modern, fresh tube rose. I don't find that it smells super outdated or anything like that, but it just has this like, almost like bubble gummy quality to it that captivates my senses instantly. It's like a love at first sniff. As it starts to dry down, I definitely start to get the elements of the patchouli. I get a little bit of this woody tone and the musk, but that tube rosy vibe is still there in the background. It's still shining really, but those deeper notes are developing. This is a very warm, how can I say this? It's a very warm scent in the dry down. It's warm, it's alluring. The musk in here does give me a little bit of an, an animalic vibe. It's not heavy, but it's definitely slightly animatic, which honestly adds this like sexy touch to this fragrance. Oh my God, it smells very niche. Okay, this is definitely a scent that I would say sample, but I do have a particular fragrance in mind that if you already have that in your collection and you're obsessed with it, you probably will like this fragrance. You guys might be a little bit surprised by which one I'm gonna talk about. But this fragrance to me is very niche, very high quality. It's quite refined and I love that it's not something that you're gonna smell everywhere at least in my opinion, it does stand out from my collection and I am just obsessed with how this transforms on the skin. The opening definitely is still warm and quite dark, but you get more of the floral notes in this fragrance. And then as it goes down to the dry down and the base of this fragrance, 
you're gonna get more of that woody and musky tone. It still remains feminine to me. This is definitely a feminine fragrance to me. And it just remains alluring, sexy, and sensual. Absolutely a date night fragrance for me. Something that I will be wearing in the evenings because it does give me like evening vibes all the way. It's quite sensual, sexy, but still remaining elegant. But this is a very edgy, lady like oh you are confident in this fragrance the vanilla in here is really beautiful it's not overly sweet it does add some warmth and some sweetness to the fragrance but it's nothing like a gourmand vanilla whatsoever to me when i smell this fragrance i find it very warm so the ambery touch is really there i find it musky and i find it floral i don't really get a ton of like this fruity aspect to this fragrance to me, it just doesn't come off on the skin, but oh my God, if you, if you love a good, warm, deep, sexy fragrance, you are going to love this one. The color that they selected, like this dark purple, is perfectly for this fragrance. The way that you smell it is you get deeper, darker colors, almost like a black I would get, like a midnight black. So I really appreciate the tone that they placed on this bottle. When I smelled this fragrance initially, it kind of gave me Mugler Alien vibes. If you like Alien, you are going to love this one. Now they're not the same whatsoever, but I got a little bit of this alien vibe, this sexy, sensual, dark um, aspect to the fragrance. There's something in here. I don't know if it's the um, Broxen. I'm not sure if it's the Myrrh. That base was blended to perfection. When you read out the notes of the base, it could be a little bit scary. We have vanilla from Madagascar, incense, Myrrh, and Broxen, Chinese cedarwood, must they might sound quite heavy and slightly masculine but honestly on my skin it literally just makes me feel very sensual very sexy like i want to put on a little black dress i want to put on some black tights heels red lipstick and go out okay that's what i want to do when i smell this fragrance it makes me feel very elegant very sensual and i just want to have fun it's not something super formal and uptight it's still a little fun and like sexy and i am blown away i smelt this one and i need to get carmina in my hand because i never had a chance to smell that one so that is definitely a fragrance that i'm absolutely getting very very soon because the way this one has impressed me i already i already have a feeling that carmina is going to impress me even more so let's go ahead and talk about the longevity the projection of this fragrance i'm gonna be brutally honest like i always am in all of my videos right i love the scent i absolutely love it and i definitely know that i'll be wearing this very often especially for evening time and date nights dinners and stuff like that I really wish that this fragrance lasted longer. It doesn't last as long as I thought it would, but that's if you don't overspray. If you're not an oversprayer, this is gonna give you about, I wanna say three to four hours of it being quite loud, and then it becomes a skin scent. When I overspray and when I spray it on wet skin, then I get a larger projection and it lasts a good seven hours on my skin and still people smell it around me. I just find that without the wet skin, without overspraying, I'm not getting much longevity out of this fragrance. The projection on it, I would say the first three hours is really great. A lot of people are going to smell you. It does form this like very beautiful cloud around you of this beautiful scent. The first time that I tried it out, I sprayed it all over myself. I was here testing it out. And then I went upstairs. My husband came back from work, maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes later. And he did comment and say, Ooh, what did you smell really good? I, I can smell your fragrance. So he definitely smelled that fragrance. 
and the sweater that I sprayed it on, it's still there and it's been about two days since I sprayed this fragrance on that sweater. So it does cling on to fabric really, really well. But on skin, you really wanna make sure that your skin is hydrated, it's moisturized, it's a little bit wet, so this can stick to your skin a little bit better if you like to put your fragrances on your skin more than fabric. Now for me, you guys know how I do. I spray my fragrances on skin and on fabric and that is how I like to wear my fragrance because I really just love love my fragrances to linger wherever I am. I know when a fragrance is beast mode and you need less of it. And I know when a fragrance needs a little bit more help to create that ambience, that bubble, that cloud of fragrance. And for me, this one just needs a little bit more of a push. I know for some people that's a deal breaker. For me, it really isn't because I have a ton of fragrances that are not be smoked <laughs> and I love them and I make them work because I love the way that they smell. There's ways that you can manipulate a fragrance to make it work for the way you want it to perform. So that is my spiel on fragrances that aren't beast modes, but this is definitely a fragrance. If you like something that's a little bit more close encounters, you might even like this one and not have to do the whole over spraying and stuff like that. If you want a fragrance that's more closer to the skin, this is probably gonna be one for you. Oh, but the scent, the scent, I cannot stop raving. It really is one that took me back. Now I test fragrances on a regular basis. And yes, there are a ton of fragrances that I love and I'm on E and wow. But this one, I don't know what it is. Something about it clicked and it just made me feel. And that's the special thing about fragrances when they make you feel something, not just, oh my God, I really like this fragrance, but like they make you feel something that's when you know you have a special fragrance at hand. And this one, this one made me get all the feels, all the emotions when I spray this one. And I can already tell that I'm going to wear this and create some special memories, especially with the hubby, because this is giving me sexy central vibes. So date nights, this is coming out to play. Now I will say that Two Bros is definitely going to be in the fragrance throughout the entire wear. So if you don't like Two Bros, maybe get a sample before you get yourself a full size bottle. But if you love tube rose ah, grab this one especially a very warm resinous kind of tube rose fragrance the tube rose on my skin pulls through really really nicely and i've said this before in other videos when it comes to floral fragrances i definitely have this skin type where it pulls a lot of the floral notes in the fragrance even if it's like the top note it will stay there throughout the entire wear i get a lot of rose and tube rose and jasmine it just really shines on my skin and i love me some tube rose like it depends on the style of tube rose. When the tube rose is a little too outdated, I cannot do it. But the way that they blended this tube rose with all of the other notes, they say there is fruit notes in here, like passion fruit. It just, uh, it just blended this to perfection and created a very, very femme fatale type of scent. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Please leave your comments down below and let me know if you're planning on picking this one up. I will link it down below if it's already available to purchase online or if I can find a site that has samples, I will also link it down below. I do wanna give a huge shout out to Creed and be completely transparent that this was sent to me through PR and I'm always grateful when I get PR, especially from brands that I absolutely adore and it doesn't change the way that I do my reviews. I always talk in a form where I'm going to recommend it to the best person that I see this fragrance for. So huge thank you to Creed and I hope you guys get a chance to try this out. Come back and let me know what are your thoughts. I cannot wait to see more reviews starting to pop up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!